big boom, come down the steps, everything fine till we got to the basement and everything just fell in. Uh, I got trapped under there with another guy, crawled out, kept getting hit in the head, hit bags all around, on, finally we clawed our way out over the rubble. Yeah. Come on, Dom. We did all right. All right, way to be Tom, let's go. <laughs> She's able to hear me. I am. Yes. Hillary. I came out. They're, they're pulling okay. him away. And then let me tell you what's they're happening. They're pulling him away. They're taking away uh, Lieutenant Sam Esposito. Very quickly. It just was off to the officer. Off just now. Ladies. The papers just lock away. Came running out of the office when he saw what was happening. Witnesses spoke of how eerily calm the survivors, even the injured, upon presence in the world. In good grief, of course, we didn't think it was going to fall. The fire trucks and the cops were right under there as that thing started to collapse. It was when it began to come down. The, the as you've heard uh, Commissioner Safer indicate, the bomb squad was in. Fire personnel, ambulance personnel had entered. About 15 minutes after they made their entry, uh, we heard a boom. I don't know if that was the infrastructure that was going. And so, in fairness, without being too carried away that we are looking at pictures from a war zone. The small war zone looked like an old war zone. One World Trade Center and then all of a sudden I heard rumbling and we all started running away from it. The glass like blew out and threw me onto the sidewalk and I, I couldn't see for like 20 seconds. And then I started seeing vaguely the street and I, I just started walking and I started, my eyesight came back. I see you're, you're bloody, you have dust all over you. Yeah, it was bad. It was like a dust storm or something. Like I couldn't see anything. How badly are you hurt? I have no idea. 